Web of Deceit, A Dangerous Game of Trust by Reuben White The city breathed with a life of its own, a metropolis that never slept. Its skyline resembled a glittering crown, with towering skyscrapers that pierced the night sky, their lights forming constellations of ambition and desire. But beneath the shimmering façade lay a labyrinth of dark alleys and hidden traps, where desperate souls prowled like predators in search of redemption, or perhaps something far more sinister. Liam Cassidy was one such soul, a former convict who had clawed his way back into society, but the scars of his past still clung to him like a shadow. His life had become a delicate balancing act, where one wrong step could send him plummeting into the abyss from which he had barely escaped. Tall and wiry, with a face etched by hardship, Liam walked the neon-lit streets with a wary eye, his street-hardened exterior belying the vulnerability that lay just beneath the surface. It was on one of those restless nights that fate, in its capriciousness, brought Liam face to face with Eleanor Hayes. She was a striking woman, elegant and poised, her every move a carefully choreographed dance of grace and confidence. Her auburn hair cascaded like a waterfall of silk, and her hazel brown eyes held a mysterious allure. But beneath that exterior of beauty and charm lay a mind as sharp as a dagger, concealing ambitions that knew no bounds. Their meeting was serendipitous, a chance encounter amidst the chaos of the city. Liam, homeless and adrift, had been seeking refuge beneath an overpass when Eleanor's gleaming black sedan pulled up to the curb. She stepped out, her heels clicking against the pavement like the ticking of a clock, counting down to something inevitable. Liam Cassidy, isn't it? Eleanor's voice was smooth, like honey laced with poison. Liam, taken aback by her knowledge of his name, nodded cautiously. Who are you? An admirer, she purred, her lips, curling into a seductive smile. And I think I can offer you something you desperately need. Eleanor extended her hand, and Liam, his curiosity piqued, took it tentatively. Little did he know that this encounter would set in motion a deadly chain of events, each link forged with treachery and deceit. As weeks turned into months, Eleanor ensnared Liam further into her intricate and deadly web. She showered him with expensive cars, lavish gifts, and promises of a fresh start, a lifeline to escape the darkness that clung to him. In return, Liam found himself entangled in her schemes, a pawn in a game he didn't yet understand. What Eleanor didn't know, however, was that her marriage to Richard Hayes was a facade, a brittle structure held together by secrets and lies. Richard, the billionaire mogul who controlled vast empires, was not the loving husband he appeared to be. In the shadows, he had hired Liam Cassidy, not as a savior, but as a hitman, with a singular mission, to eliminate his cunning and power-hungry wife. The city itself seemed to be a character in this twisted tale, its heartbeat echoing the sinister intentions of those who walked its streets. Beneath the gleaming skyscrapers and bustling nightlife lay a seething cauldron of desire and betrayal, where fortunes were made and lost with a mere whisper. As Liam delved deeper into Eleanor's world, he began to sense the strings that manipulated him. A phone call overheard in a dimly lit room, whispered words and veiled threats, revealed the truth. Richard Hayes had played them both, orchestrating a deadly dance where the lines between right and wrong blurred beyond recognition. The stage was set for a climactic confrontation, a showdown that would determine the fate of these three intertwined lives. In a dimly lit penthouse high above the city, with the skyline as their witness, Liam and Eleanor faced off, their intentions laid bare. You thought you could control me, Eleanor hissed, her hazel brown eyes ablaze, with fury. Liam, no longer the vulnerable pawn, held his ground. And you thought you could buy my loyalty. But they were not alone in their web of deceit. Richard, the puppeteer behind the scenes, had underestimated the depths of his wife's cunning. Eleanor's voice, once seductive, now dripped with cold determination as she revealed her trump card. You may have been hired to kill me, Liam, but I've been planning your demise from the moment we met. The climax unfolded in a torrent of accusations and revelations, a crescendo of tension that left all three characters teetering on the precipice of their own destruction. In the end, the power dynamic shifted, alliances crumbled, and a shocking twist left them all ensnared in the web of their own making. No one emerged as a clear winner, and the city, with its glittering skyline and dark underbelly, 
continued to pulse with a heartbeat that echoed the treacherous dance of those who called it home. Web of Deceit had woven its threads deep into the hearts and minds of its characters, leaving them forever entangled in a morally ambiguous and suspenseful tale of survival, where the line between victim and perpetrator blurred until it was no longer discernible. If you are enjoying the Mystery Within channel, feel free to hit the subscribe, follow, or like buttons. Let's continue to unravel mysteries together.